Hey, what's happening, guys? Demi here, and welcome back to another episode of Our Kingdom. Now, last place we left off, I had to go talk to Willy because he has some information for me. Now, after thinking about it for a little bit, I have this blue orb following me, and the blue orb itself is something that we all don't know anything about. But I actually know that this blue orb is actually my companion. So, yeah. What you've caught me in is the middle of grinding. I was fighting a couple of sunbirds until whatever time I had to go get this dude. So I'm gonna just kill like one or two more and that'll be it. They have a long range attack that you can dodge, so it works out in my favor. Anyways, off to him. Good lord, Demi! You scared me to death! What are you doing here? Why are you looking for Brian? Do you know him? Uh, nope, not a clue. I have an urgent, urgent issue and I must speak to him to clear things up. You really want to know where he is? He's as crazy as the day is long. Oh my god. He's been attacking residents, a couple being short of a chili. <laughs> if you know what I mean. If you want to investigate, you can talk to Larry, a traveling merchant. He's the person Brian most recently attacked. But before you, before meeting with him, could you help me drive the sunbirds out of here? They're stealing our fruit. Alright. Well, I was already doing that anyway, so I might as well continue. So the person I'm looking for has started attacking the residents. But I remember that the young lady stated that he and I shared a, a common thing. So basically he's probably, he probably has a companion of his own. So the blue orb that's following me currently will be eventually become my companion. But I guess it just needs some time to develop. So as I become stronger, it becomes stronger, basically. That's what I gather from most of this game already. Killing some birds. Oh. In truth, right? These are penguins on land, basically. Wait, are you dead? There we go. Having a very good day for a moment. Just avoid getting killed by you. Alright, just one more and we should be good. Uh, no, you don't. Alright, that's quest done. So I'm working on it. Wait, oh, okay, so I'm done with him. Brian? Brian. Oh yeah. The crazy jerk that broke my wagon. Right. He smacked me with his hand. That's it. That's that's all you got. He smacked you with his hand. You mag you you mag your bat hand and you 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 talking about beat up? Really? He smacked you. It is. What? You don't know? Well, what can I what can I do? I need to be I need to be compensated for this. You got slapped. I'm sorry. I know it's not your fault. I just need to calm down. Um. Do you want me to help you with this? You still want to assist me? Could you help me with bringing those scattered boxes over there, please? Oh, uh, shouldn't be too hard. 
I can pick up some of my ostrich can pick up some. The weirdest thing is right. These are these are called scattered supplies and heavy crates. I am carrying six at a time. The skills. Just a couple of days ago, my field was torn up by beasts. When I was trying to make some cash to replant it, my wallet was stolen. Man, when Lady Luck left me, she gave me a swift kick to the balls on her way out. <laughs> and just recently, my wares were stolen. But it wasn't enough to just steal my stuff, the thieves had to beat me up too. Alright, uh, after helping shove the scatter crates back to Larry's side. Glad you're here to help. I couldn't move all this stuff on my own. I'm Larry, by the way. I'm a traveling merchant. Um, he sticks out his hand. You shake it gamely. Then, introduce yourself to him. Sup, Demi. Demi, I'm afraid I need to ask you for another favor. Larry rummages through the scattered girls and fishes out a package. I'd like to ask you to send this package to my friend Bentley on my behalf. It's just some dried, f dried food he asked me to buy for him several days ago. Though the other items were destroyed, this will prevent him from going hungry at least. There's nothing in it for you too. Sorry. There's something in it for you too. This friend of mine has been hunting here for ages, so he knows the forest at the back of his hand. Perhaps he can help you find Brian. Well, luckily there's something in it for me, because personally I didn't do it if it's just me being delivery boy. Let's go, ostrich. People are not even far away from each other. He could have walked over here himself. Here you go, Bentley. Uh, right. Can you help me find Brian? Um, he winces as he listens to you. You quickly realize that he's been badly injured. Beavis. Why is Alina's house ostrich here with you? Bentley clutches his bleeding wound, staring at Beavis' beady eyes. He explain why Beavis is following you, then inquire about Bentley's injuries. It's Brian. I just don't know what he's up to. I saw him dragging a child deep into the forest. I approached him. I never thought he'd attack me so viciously. Bentley grinds his teeth, clearing in, sorry, clearly in immense pain. Beavis resets his feathered head on your shoulder as though he too is concerned. Oh. Uh, let's pick this one. This is a pretty deep wound. I'm probably going to have to do something about it, eh? Bentley Vinces. So. I don't know, bro. You might want to see a doctor as soon as possible. You know what? I know a crazy doctor just a little ways back to the logging at the logging camp. You may want to go give him a look up. You inspect the festering wound and concern. Um, yeah, you really need to see a doctor. Can I help you back there? A bunch of grass sprouts reside in the forest. The slime they produce can stop the bleeding and help the wound healed. Please collect some slime from these sprouts. You trying to tell me instead of going to the doctor? Alright. Beavis, follow Demi. Bentley swallows hard, hiding his pain bad, hiding his pain badly. And shoes you and Beavis away. I, I could, I could have carried dots and everything, but you know, you won't be special. Let me upgrade, say. Let me increase the attack speed here. Uh, let me increase my attack speed here. Let me just kill a couple of these things. That's uh, one. Whoa. Uh, 
Alright, I'm gonna get okay. a lip hood. Alright, one more of those. Uh, it's not dang. Attack it, bro. I probably got some lag there for a moment. All right, obtain all the liquid necessary. Let me charge shot. Oh, I realize that charge shots do a lot more damage recently. All right, so what am I supposed to do now? Defeat the mischievous sprout. Okay, so that's a little further up. Ah, there, there. So they probably have more, or do I just have to beat them? Oh, sticky secretion, ew. Well, alright, these things are like plants, aren't they? So let's just say that it's their like nectar or something like that there. Because, you know, sticky secretion just sounds nasty. One more shot, man. Alright, last one. There we go. Let's go get the meds to him. Well, not really meds, just mostly like lots of um, stuff. Here you go, dude. He quickly mixes the two liquids and applies the viscous solution to his laceration the endless bleeding from the wound begins to slow the pained look fades from Bentley's face that shit works fast you might want to give me some of that just, just not too much but you know just bottle a little bit oh my god all right so that's in reward I need to re I need to remember that at some point Demi thank you I feel much better you know you have an orb, a light orb following you, right? Or am I hallucinating? Not yet. Not yet. You're not that close to death yet. <laughs> if you're utterly depressed after hearing that from Bentley, you both stare at the spirit, gaze at the spirit wearily. Beavis cocks his head, watching the orb carefully. <laughs> Race the just look at it. Uh. All right. Well. I need to rid myself of it, but you gotta talk to Bram first to see because he already he already feeling the effects of it. But he's probably gone mad anyway, so I probably might not get any information from him. But at least I gotta try. How will that fool help? I have a good friend who might be actually who might actually be able to lend a hand. Bentley opens a small bag hanging you hanging around his wrist. From inside the bag, he removes an amulet. I'm gonna lend you this amulet. It's a token of friendship between Elena and I. Go to Elena's house with this, and you, uh, I know she'll come up with a way to help you. Oh, a new bow. All right. So I head to Elena. All right, got it. Again, these people don't live. These people aren't far from each other at all. Stop! You take one step forward, and you'll be sorry. Fire flashes through Elena's eyes as she as she prepares to cast magic, but her demeanor immediately softens as she sees the spirit next to you and her beloved Bebus. Um, yeah, I I, I need some help with this thing. Is it's a blue orb following me? Here. An amulet from Bentley. He told me to come to you. You, you have a spirit. That boy Brand, he had one too. El Elena recalls coldly. Jeez. At least I wanted to help. At first I wanted to help him, but his spirit transformed into a sinister Black Panther. Ugh. He and that he and the Panther ran into the house and attacked me. They broke my staff into. Yikes. Beavis quickly quietly follows behind you. 
Elena stares with a suspicious, yeah, with a suspicious expression before her gaze shifts to Bentley's token. It's a real surprise. Beavis is always so shy, but he seems to have taken a liking to you. Maybe this proves you pose no danger. Alina arches an eyebrow, giving you a once over. Uh, okay, calm down. It's, it's a little uncomfortable. Sensing that she's softened towards you. Um, can you help me get rid of the thing? It's been. I guess it's been causing me a bit of concern. Any friend of Bentley is a friend of mine. However, you're going to have to help me fix my staff before I can cast any such spell. The staff lost all of its energy when Bran attacks me. You must help me. Power it up again. Elena removes three brightly colored gems from the bag. This is a water gem. Tree gem and magic gem. You should go to the wharf, the logging site, and the ruins with the car corresponding gems. I will use the teleportation magic to send you back to Port Scandia. When you're ready, with Beavis' help, you shouldn't have much trouble. Alright, let's get ready. Lee's magic teleported you back to port. To the port. Alright. I am so lucky to have all a run. Let's go. Because I wouldn't have a clue. I wouldn't have a clue. I wouldn't have a clue. Let's just keep going. Ah. says charge the water gem. That's some serious magic here. Next, tree gem. And while I'm at it, I guess I'll equip my bow. There's a, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff recently. Grinding has been good to me. The stuff I gain, though, is not exactly like it's either too high level or too weak. Because I mean, I'm not even level 18 yet, but I happen to have found so many things that are 18. Alright, I'm back at the logging site. Let's go. Alright, next, the magic gem. Where are the ruins? I haven't passed the ruins yet. I think I've been to the ruins. Oh no, that's where her, um, her aid was. Huh. Wouldn't really call this the ruins, it's just more Wait, hold on a second, that looks like a claw. What the hell is this? How how did I not realize this before? This is some dead creature. Uh, or Or a stone statue, but that's what this is. All right, well, let's go back to Alina. How did I not notice that before? That's strange, man. This game, I tell you. The visuals are amazing, I'm telling you that now. Here you go. They all... Brightly powered, sorry, newly powered. After Elena embeds the tree gems in her staff, they begin to radiate dazzling rays of brilliant light. Ah, they've regained their power. Next, I will cast the exorcism spell on you. If it goes as planned, it will remove the spirit that follows you. However, if it fails, and the spirit takes you over, I will have no choice but to use my magic to defeat you. Do you understand? Oh boy. It's like, really? Even... So basically, even if I, even if you fail, you still have to beat me. All right, Demi, are you ready? I have some special magic I can try on that spirit. As for the results, well, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh boy! Elena waves her wand and and recites an incantation you've never heard before. If she's using magic. You're an archer. You you wouldn't know anything about it. A warm a warm mist fills the air. Alina's magic makes you feel as though you're floating. 
which makes sense because when you open your eyes you're hovering in midair. You try to relax as the wind whips around you, but you can't help but let out a small shriek of surprise. Demi, are you okay? It might feel a little uncomfortable, but you should but it shouldn't be any worse than than a light fever. A little grogginess shouldn't be a problem for you, right? You want to answer but can't say a word. You try to resist the pressure of the whirling air. It seems to grow hotter and hotter with every passing second. The air sudden is suddenly violent. As though it's trying to swallow you whole, an electric pain shoots through your body. Demi! Alina cries up when she sees the pain on your face and immediately starts reciting the incantation. The light of the spell extinguishes and you collapse on the ground in pain. Oh! The spirit that had haunted you ominously changes its form into a creature you've never seen before. A mysterious creature has appeared before you. Stunned, you only glance at Alina, who, in turn, is also looking at you with a face of complete shock. It says, Sh Is that shock or shoot? Nope, it's definitely shock. Let me just plus this up here. Good, good. Oh, I also have HP, defense, and evasion. Let me increase the evasion. Good, good. I, I never will. Uh, this is unexpected. Alina can hardly take her eyes off the mysterious creature beside you. While you and Alina are busy staring awkwardly, the sound of quickly approaching footsteps breaks the silence. Demi, I finally found you. Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? Really seeing the creature next to you suddenly screams like a little baby. <laughs> I, um... <coughs> Weren't you looking for Brian? I'm just here to tell you that the garrison Captain Kane had found him. Elita, has Demi been bound by a curse as well? I I'm not sure yet if this is a curse or well. The creature has not hurt us or anything, so maybe... Really, Elita's conversation makes you dizzy you can hardly focus on your words. Trying to guide the subject away from the small creature, it was like, um, where can I find Kane, dude? It's, yeah. The garrison captain is currently in the northeastern corner of the forest. Reports were saying that Brian has, was was eh, was spotted hiding in a nearby cave. So I guess I'm done here. I uh gotta go then. Demi, I think you should seek out Kane in a hurry. Here, let us also take you there. Maybe we can figure out from Brian what kind of um creature this thing is. You nod and turn to go, yet the strange creature is following your every move. Please take me with you. You'll need my help. You sigh helplessly and allow the creature to follow you around. You have to focus find on finding Brian. Then you can figure out what to do with your strange possession situation. This icon shows your current Eidolon. Click it to see the others that are available. Yeah. No, I don't care. Click an up. When you have... When you have an Eidolon, or sorry, they call it Eidolon, you can control it to fight for you. I don't see what's the problem. I happen to like this. So, yeah, this is not too bad. It is not evil looking or anything. It's actually kind of cute. It's a little horse thingy. There's a sword sticking out of his head. I don't see what's more awesome than that. Just saying. Oh, well. I think I should probably end this episode here. I guess next episode we'll probably be fighting Brian. But for right now, I've gained my new companion. One known as Alessa. Again, awesome looking thing. It has wings though. And it's pink. So I don't mind. I don't mind. It's awesome. Well, guys. I guess I'm going to call this one an episode, as I said before. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. But for right now, I will be out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good night.